Greetings from the medicine cabinet. I'm Chill Pill and this is Not Bad, the show where I take songs I previously disliked and see if I like them now. All right, this next one had a lot of hype before it released, but uh, I felt it had too much hype to justify uh, how much I liked the song. And that song is Malfunction by Serve and Miller's Planet. I liked both artists. I liked their styles of d and I was excited to see them come together on a drum and bass track, but I didn't exactly like the outcome. But I remember there being some kind of story that um, this, this was kind of subliminally telling, which is always good in a song, especially since uh, it's called Malfunction and it has this kind of computer malfunction theme throughout the whole song. So let's see if that makes it a good song and uh, if um, the sound design and the orchestration of the song is redeemable. Ooh. This is a dark atmosphere and I like it. That reminded me a bit of the start of Run by Shock One. This very well um, portrays a computer malfunction. It's like going fast at certain points, but then slowing down at other points. I can see a music video of this, like, moving really fast at the kicks, but then slowing down during the sound design around the drums. This might have been just before Hyper Reality, which I really liked. Okay, I like this. It doesn't have a lot of, um, it doesn't have a lot of coherence, but it actually works to its benefit, the lack of coherence in this, because of this malfunction theme. Like, you can't just say that the song has a theme to mask the coherence problem in a song, but they actually actively portray a malfunctioning computer or machine of some sort with the drop which actually it works to its benefit in that sense. See, this song takes a lot of things that would normally be problems, like lack of coherence and lack of ability to know how to feel while listening to this song. And it works to its own benefit. So this really gives me a new perspective on just music in general. Oh man, that's sick. Man, that was exciting having the guy kind of breathing heavily, catching his breath in the song. And the sound design is really cool. Like, none of it is stuff that's, that would be good, like, right on the forefront, using it as the main base. But they all just work together to advance the scene. This song is fun. I like it. And it builds up the energy very well. Ooh, that was a sick way to end the song. This song really gets your blood pumping. It gets your energy up. And I really like it for it. And like I said, it takes a lot of things 
that would normally be a problem in a song and makes it not a problem anymore. It makes it work to its benefit, especially with this running theme of a malfunctioning machine that perhaps this person has just discovered and is afraid of. Who knows, you could speculate about the story of any song. So there's not much else to say about this. It's fun. It doesn't deserve to not be appreciated in my book. And I like it, I enjoy it, I would listen to it again. And so I'm gonna give this one a uh, 7.5 out of 10. This song really shifted my perspective on how I viewed uh, electronic music, and I'd say just music in general, but mainly electronic music. The next one we have up is Ben Lepper's debut, State of Emergency. Thankfully, when I discovered Ben Lepper through State of Emergency, I had also actually listened to 110 later and liked that one. So I remember this one being kind of melodic dubstep done not quite right, but that actually means that it holds a lot of promise in my book because maybe he used the melodic parts well, even if he didn't use the basses quite well, and maybe he did use the bass as well, so we'll see. Oh. Okay, I like these piano chords to start out. He knows how to use piano. I feel like Ben Lepper uses that impact quite a bit in his songs. I think he used that in 110 and perhaps Zero Hour as well. Those stabs are cool. Okay, this instrumentation he's doing is very cool. That snare is a bit loud in the mix. I would use a different snare, actually. The vocal chop is actually pretty good. I would actually make it more stuttery. Oh, those basses in the background are a questionable decision. Okay, if the melodic parts were were louder in the mix, and the basses were quieter. This would probably be better. These screams are weird. Okay, this part just feels unfinished. That's my problem with it. This song, I don't feel like, deserves to have a heavy part to it. Especially not one this long. I feel like the whole thing needs to be melodic. And the basses need to not be the most prominent part of the song. I can't imagine he used a lot of tracks on this. Like maybe three to four for the drop. I'm conflicted on whether or not I just want the song to end right now. Like, melodically, these things all work together very well. This is pretty good for um, someone who's early in their music-making career. Especially, it's a huge improvement. 110 is a huge improvement. 
from this. It's just that this feels empty. It feels unfinished. Like there needs to be more things to it. And it also suffers from a bit of a mixing issue. It, with the bases. Is it gonna switch it up here? I wouldn't complain if it didn't. That's a, that's a cool sound. It's not that the song doesn't deserve to be heavy. It's just that it shouldn't be heavy. This is another case in which these kinds of drops should be saved for a different song. Not one that started as melodic as it did. But this is impressive sound design. So props to Ben Lepper on that front. It's hard to design sounds like that really early into uh, your career. So he did a good job with that. <clears throat> Tempo change, slowing it down. But why? That's my only qualm with this tempo change, is why did this happen? So I think I like State of Emergency just as much now as I did back then. I think the instrumentation would have been better for more emphasis on melodies rather than basses and heaviness. So the further I got into the song, the more bored I got with it. And it's kind of unfortunate that it's five and a half minutes long. Uh, it probably should have been shorter. So yeah, all the comments that I said throughout the song probably do a better job of explaining it than I could um, just because the entire song suffers from the little things that happened um, throughout the song. So in that case, I am going to have to give this song a 3 out of 10. His sound design is very good here, and he accomplishes what he wants to. Uh, I just feel like this song was a little half-baked. I don't know how Miller's Planet just automatically got this good. Okay, these basses are actually weirder than the anime samples in my opinion. Ooh. That was cool. 